Kia ora, Dan from Christchurch City Library's Learning Centre here. Today we're going to have some fun making some 3D emojis using Tinkercad. Tinkercad is a collection of web-based software tools used to design and make. You can find the website at tinkercad.com. Click on join now if you don't have an account, otherwise sign in. If you have never used Tinkercad before or haven't used it in a while, click on the Learn button and use the fun tutorials to learn all about placing, viewing, moving and rotating blocks. We will be using these skills today. Pause the video and give them a go if you haven't used Tinkercad before. Today we are going to use the 3D design tool to make some simple emojis. Click up here on Create a new design. I like to start by renaming my project to make it easier to find later. Any good emoji needs a head. Click on the cylinder shape and drag the shape onto your work plane. You can zoom in with the plus and minus buttons here or with your mouse wheel. Use the white boxes to resize your shape. I want a 40 by 40 millimeter head for my emoji. You can also type in where you see numbers and press enter. Let's have a look from the side. Tip the model using the view cube or your right mouse button. The white box with the dotted line travelling up controls our height. Drag it down to 3 millimeters. Whoops, I made a mistake. I'll just press undo. OK, let's take a look around. You can orbit by holding down your right mouse button. Looks good. Now we want to mainly work looking down from the top of the emoji. Change the colour using the shape options. I'm going to go with yellow. Much better. Time to make some eyes. Drag on another cylinder. You can experiment with the different sizes, but 7mm by 7mm with a 5mm height works best for me. Change the colour using the shape options. Click on the shape and avoid the little white boxes to drag the shape in place. Position the eye on the face where you think it should be. Once we have one eye, we can just copy and paste using these buttons. The easiest way to make a mouth is with the scribble tool. Drag the scribble across onto the mouth area. This pops up into the scribble designer where you can draw a shape. Have a go! You can undo or erase and then have another go. Click done when you are finished. You can change the height to 5mm and move it around when you pop back to your work plane. If you don't like a shape, select it by clicking on it and press delete on your keyboard or the bin icon on the screen. A more precise way to make a mouth is using the box hole object to cut a shape. Drag out the box hole. Move a cylinder or torus in so it overlaps. Mm -hmm. 
Select both objects by holding down the mouse button and dragging around them. Now when you group the object, it gets rid of the overlapping part. It's good practice to orbit around your object to make sure it looks right from the top and the sides. Use the view cube or your right mouse button to orbit. You can rotate the mouse to make it upside down frown. I reckon we will stay happy today though. Awesome, I'm all finished and Tinkercad automatically saves my work. Click up here to go back to your dashboard where your models are stored. If you want to remix your model, click on the settings of your project and duplicate. This creates another copy of your model that you can change around without mucking up the original. My second emoji model's going to look mad. With these simple skills, you can make some really cool emojis. You could try using hearts for eyes or making some glasses for a cool emoji. Have fun.